Okay, we're back to look at some asset packages in Unity. Um, here's the scene as, as it was when we left it last. What I'm going to do in just a minute here is I'm going to drag out all these other prefabs, uh, make any adjustments that I might need to do, and get them ready to export as a Unity asset package. So, rather than make you watch me do all that, I'm going to pause this for a few minutes and set all those things up, and we'll be right back. Okay, I've drug all my assets out into the scene, um, and for the purposes of this, I'm really just using the scene as a as kind of a test bed. Um, so it doesn't matter what I've got in the scene. What matters is what happens down here to these prefabs that I'm about to uh, export. So I've gone ahead, and and you don't have to do this if you're just producing your art assets for the community at large. If you just want to put this on the Unity Asset Store. Um, but for my stuff, for my purposes, what I've done is I've taken each of these uh, objects that I want to export and I've added some scripts to them. So I added rigid body um, to all of them and just kind of gave them some default uh, stuff, right? So I didn't, cha I didn't change anything with rigid body. Um, and I added some colliders, um, which I know I'm going to want later because I want these things to kind of tumble and fall and, and things uh, for my future purposes. So I've just kind of drug all my assets out here. I just want to make sure they're all kind of in scale with each other. This is really kind of about what I want. Um, I th there's a few more things left to do, so I did not I did not do anything with this particular asset right here because I wanted to wait for everyone to get here. So we've got our two pieces of that treasure chest. Um, we'll see if we can add those these scripts out here to the outer. So we're going to add rigid body um, and this gives it mass and gravity and uh, all this other fun stuff and then I'm also going to add a box collider. So what's fun is you just start typing and it shows up with what you need. Um, interestingly our box collider is not uh, meshing with our mesh, so to speak. So let me just undo that. Right now we'll leave the box collider out here. We'll just do it this way. So here's our box collider. And I can click on Edit Collider, and I can pull the top up to where I want it to be, and I can start to resize this. right? And so this gives our object physicality. And we can mess it up easily. So I could have this be too small, um, and then things can get too close to our treasure chest before it registers the hit, or I can have it too big, and it seems like the treasure chest has a bit of a force field around it. Let me kind of drag this out to where I think it should be. Um, and really, right here, this is only because Unity is still seeing this object as a couple of different pieces which is fine. If we want to open this treasure chest up later, we're going to want them to be separate pieces. But for now, this is good. So I'm good with that. I've got my box collider. That's set up. And here's something fun we can do. So I've, I've pulled my camera out about here. And then when I play the scene, we can see if there's any problems with colliders and rigid bodies. I'm going to hit play. And you can see our pipe uh, that was here fell through the earth and is now on its way to the nether. Um, and this is wobbling just a little bit, and that's okay. That's what we want it to do. So let me show you how to fix the pipe. So the pipe, right, so we, we've got just a number of primitive shapes for colliders. Um, and I told the pipe, hey, go ahead and use uh, just your mesh for, for your collider. And you can see down here at the bottom... Uh, it's kind of dark. It says non-convex mesh collider with non-kinematic rigid body is no longer supported in Unity 5. Um, and that's that causes what we had here. So I had a mesh collider because I didn't want this to be represented as a box. I wanted it to kind of you know glance off the sides or whatever we need to do and, and kind of have a more rounded collision. So but when I told it to, hey, just use the mesh, it really did it, and it caused issues. But if we do this and say it's convex, 
you can see we probably won't be able to play basketball with it, right? So convex just means it doesn't fold in on itself ever. There's no uh, angles that that fold inward. Um, you see what it did is it, it took the collision box and it just kind of angled it up instead of coming straight up and then folding in on itself and going out. So I like that. We'll go ahead and apply that to our prefab. We should probably go back to the treasure chest and do the same thing. So let's apply. We've got a box collider. It's good. Let's apply that to the prefab. And everything else should be good. I do want to highlight this real quick. So I did the same thing that I just did with the pipe to this space helmet here. Um, if I use the whole mesh, then it doesn't play well with this, this non-kinematic rigid body and it will fall through. I'll show you. I'll prove it. So here we go. The pipe stayed. The space helmet went away. Um, so rather than again having any anything uh, concave in the way of angles, they say convex and the physics engine sees this as this weird kind of football shape. And that's okay. So apply that, save that, double check everything. That rolls a little bit. One more test on this. I'm going to pull that up. Um, for this, I've got I've got a head um, that I think I might want to use as a cannonball because I'm just crazy like that. And I put just a sphere on them rather than be too crazy, right? And I don't think there's any way that that nose should should have any different impact than the rest of it. it shouldn't stick out much. So I just put a sphere collider on it. Just to be sure, and not that one when you play it. And it just kind of falls down. And we can add some bounce to that and do some other things later, um, or we can let the level designer do that. So for the purposes of this video, as I said, uh, everything here is just making sure everything's applied back to the prefab. Everything here is, is really just um, in the in the sense that we, we're just an art uh, creator, a content creator, and we're going to let our level designers actually handle the stuff. We maybe did them a favor by adding the um, rigid body and box collider. But what we really want is is this down here, right? Here in this prefabs folder, I want to be able to provide this um, to my either my customer on the Unity Asset Store, or I want to provide this to my uh, level editor and my game programmers. So that's what we're going to do, and that's really the point of, of this particular video. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these things. I've got a cannon, a castle, all this other stuff. Um, yes, let me just throw out the disclaimer that uh, a lot of these objects do appear to have some kind of copyright on them, and I probably could not sell these on the Unity Asset Store. But there's stuff that I want to play with right now, so that's what I'm doing. So I've selected all my prefabs, and I'm just going to go to uh, Export Package. And what it did is it grabbed all those prefabs. And it also went out and said, okay, if you need that, you're going to need, here's your top texture, your bottom texture, here's the normal maps, which are still called bump maps, um, the materials, the objects, everything else, the FBX that, that they're originally based on. So it grabbed everything. Um, and another thing to note is it grabbed everything and grabbed everything in relation to this particular folder structure. So since I already have a prefabs and an object resources folder and all this other stuff, that's the way it will export. So I like all that. We're going to go with it. So I'm going to export. And we're just going to call this demo game assets. It will be an asset package. I'm going to just save it. There is good. And we export. And there it is. I got demo game assets.unity package is sitting out here in my 
folder and I can upload that um, to Git, to Unity, to whatever. I can zip it up and email it if, uh, if my co-conspirators on this project uh, are, have the same kind of email that I do, you know, as, as far as like no size limitations on, um, on attachments. And now I can share my assets with the rest of the team. And we'll be back in a minute to look what that looks like in another scene. And here we are in another scene. Um, for all intents and purposes, I could be the game level uh, designer now and, and not the asset creator. Uh, but what I wanted to show is bringing those assets that we just produced into this particular scene and, and project. So here's another level that uh, I and my students have been working on. Um, we've got, got a lot of random things going on in here. This is just kind of a uh, another playground for us to practice exporting and importing and, and setting up levels. Um, as you can see, I've got my assets folder here, and, and some of us have been following a particular um, particular style as far as, as our folder structure, and some haven't. And so we've, we've got uh, we've got a pre-existing folder structure and a pre-existing bit of a mess with some organization. And we're going to be bringing in all the things that we just created previously. So um, same with the FBX that, we, that we've that we done before. We could just grab that uh, file in Finder or Windows Explorer or whatever, and we can just drag it right in here to the assets. And it'll unpackage itself and set up. Um, we're going to be a little more official this time, and then we'll show the other way to do that. And so I'm just going to import a package. Um, it'll be a custom package. And I've got packages here, packages there. Let me go to documents and Maya, not Maya, Unity projects. And I will just grab that uh, that demo game assets that we just created, open that up. Maybe we downloaded it. Maybe it came straight from the Unity store. Um, and here it all is. All right, here's all the things that looked like a, an export last time. Now it's an import. I'll just go ahead and say yes, select all, just in case. Let's import that. Wait just a couple of minutes. And here we go. So you can see we've got these folders here with the little green dots. That means they're new. We have a new materials folder, or we have new materials in the folder. Yes, yeah, so we had a materials folder. Here's the red, the shiny red that we had earlier um, that was on that ball. So that's new. Um, we've got new folders for object resources. Here's all the, all the FBXs and original materials for those things, including this flat treasure chest, right? Should look familiar. Um, and important, more importantly, here's our prefabs folder. Now, we won't always preview them because they're brand new and it doesn't know much about it, but we've got all our assets now. I can start dragging them in to our scene. And setting up some craziness. So that's how to both create um, and export an asset package and import one into your scene. Unity is really cool about kind of figuring out where you're dropping stuff in, in this arbitrary 3D space. So far, it's kind of dropping it all on top of this little uh, white slab that I have sitting in the middle of the land. Let me drag out some more stuff. All right, as you can see, it's all here. If I go out here, the pipe's on the ground. Come up here, it stays on top of the top of the slab. So cool. All right, so let's go back and let's fixate again on this DET treasure chest. Um, rigid body that we added came through the box collider with the updated size on that 
um, is all in place. So we, this is a very successful test. We've exported and imported, and now our level designer can do something cool with it. Um, that's all for now. Uh, I would very much like to see you um, go through go through Maya, go through Blender, whatever it is your your tool of choice. Start exporting some stuff, get it into Unity, and and set them up as a, as that testbed project, which like the last one we looked at, and start creating asset packages that you can share with your team, you can share with friends, um, or that maybe you can make a dollar or two off of on the Unity Asset Store which again is right over here. It's always always available in Unity. You can go out there, grab free things. If you've just got tons of money sitting around, you can pay a bunch of money for stuff. All right, you can do searches. We've already got our own treasure chest, but let's see what everyone else has got. There's a cool looking one for 10 bucks. I'm not gonna spend $10, but it looks good. Some come with gold. Uh, a lot of these make our treasure chest look stupid, and some of these make me feel like maybe we did a good job on it. But anyway, this is the Unity Asset Store, and uh, hopefully now that you've been able to create a, an asset package, you can start to monetize a little bit, or throw it out here for free and just get some eyes on your work.